Nestled off DuPont Highway right across the Delaware line in Selbyville, the Johnson Family Restaurant is like a little piece of mm, food heaven. Once inside, in full view of our ingredients, I couldn't contain my anticipation. I'm very excited right. about our sweet potato pie today. Starting with a bowl large enough for all the ingredients, we first put in two cups of milk and added about a dozen eggs. I mixed those ingredients before moving ahead. This is not for one pie. We'll get about how many pies? Maybe about four or five, okay. maybe six. Okay, so don't get overzealous at home. We don't, you don't need all of this for one pie. <laughs> After blending a bit more to make sure the eggs were well mixed, I added a can of sweet condensed milk, followed by a burst of vanilla and lemon flavoring. We put in a sweet tooth full of brown sugar, followed by some granulated sugar. Then I blended some more. Miss Mary said the kitchen insider tip is to use most of the ingredients sparingly to taste with the idea that you can always go back and add more once everything is in. Some things you just, you, you're off your diet for the day. You oh, just, yeah. You know, you're just going to enjoy it and that's all to it. And this, for better or worse, was one of those days. Still missing a couple of key ingredients, we added some nutmeg and cinnamon before adding what has to be the most essential ingredient, the sweet potatoes. We used about five large sweet potatoes, boiled and peeled. We dumped them in our mixture and blended some more. The blending process is pretty involved because we wanted to make sure most of our lumps were out. I moved and maneuvered that mixer and bowl for about five minutes, stopping to taste for just the appropriate levels of sweetness. I personally would put a little more sugar. Okay. And we did, being careful to blend that in as well before filling our first pie crust and placing it in the oven. For Miss Mary, knowing when it's done is instinct. Continue to watch it. Okay. Yeah, because, I mean, you do it so much until it's like a light bulb goes off in your head. It's ready, ding. ding. But for us at home, she said to cook on 350 degrees until the filling is firm and no longer shakes a lot. And when the crust is a golden brown. I think we're ready. Probably my favorite part of all of this. And... Oh, that is so good. It really is.